Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. Well, <laughs> today I'm going to be sharing with you my sheet mask empties for the month of November. And I am um, laughing slash crying slash going, because this is like the fourth time I filmed this video. <laughs> First time I didn't have any sound. Um, the second time, I don't know what happened. I know I had record pushed. I know I had my sound on. I don't know. There's just been all kinds of technical difficulties. So anyway, I even double checked everything and I guess it just cut off. It cut off on me, I guess. I don't know. <sighs> so we're going to do it again. Okay. So let's get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Okay, so first of all, I have three sheet masks from the brand Skin79. Y'all are going to get the short and cut and dry version of this video. I am so sorry. Anyway, these were sent to me from my friend Annie, so thank you so much. And um, I use these as part of my morning skincare regime. I'm going to have to keep looking at this little thing to make sure it's working for me. Um, I really enjoyed these. These were really nice to use of the morning time because they had a thinner essence. So it really absorbed into the skin really, really quick. And they worked really well underneath makeup. And I did recommend them or recommend them for, for that purpose. The first one was the Venetian Carnival Rising Sun Anti-Wrinkle and Nourishing. And then I had the Soul Girls Beauty Secret Mask. Um, one was for moisturizing, which was that one there. And then this one is for was for soothing, I think is what it was. So I had two of those, three from the brand Skin79. And then I had these from the brand, you think I remember this, Bling Pop. First of all, you gotta love the little packaging. The packaging is just so super cute. But I had this one from, or this one was Pumpkin. And these I used in the morning also. And that was for um, soothing and brightening. And then I had this one, which is Rice Bran for brightening. And then this one here, which was Collagen for skin elastic. And then this one here, which is for collagen healing collagen and healing is what it says and this this one here was just completely just an eye mask that went across here in the face enjoyed all of those and all of those like i said i used of the morning um, as i was getting ready for the day and then this one from leaders this one I use a little bit differently than what I normally would use a skin mask or a sheet mask. And the fact that I uh, would use this before I used any of my skincare. And I used it at night, of course, on clean skin, clean dry skin. And I put this on for like 20 to 30 minutes. And then I let it kind of set and absorb into the skin before I continued on with my um, skincare, my skincare regime for the rest of the night, just so that I could get the exfoliating um, benefits from this mask directly onto the skin. And that's how I use that one. I really did enjoy using. I've had these before, and I do like those. Then I have another one from Leaders, and this was the Lifting and Recovering Mask. Um, did enjoy using that one. I use that one at night also. This one, how I do this one or do any other mask is I do my, um, cleanse my face, make sure there's no makeup, you know, do my double cleanse. Then I'll do my toner, my essence, and then I'll do a mask, and then I'll do a serum, and then my moisturizers, that type thing. That's how I would do those. Then I have one from Mediheal, and this is the IPI Light Max Ampule Mask EX. And I do like um, these. I have to pull this back a little bit so you can see a little bit. But I like the ones from Mediheal. I think Mediheal is a really good brand also to get started with sheet masking. 
Another one I have that she sent me was from Too Cool for School for Hydration. Um, that's the egg cream mask. It's a really, really good line of mask. Um, this is actually a really good Korean skincare line that you can find at Ulta and at Sephora. So it's um, easy to get access to. And it's a good way to dip your toe into the Korean skincare um, skincare business. <laughs> skincare I don't know what I'm saying at this point anyway it's a good line if you want to start with some Korean skincare and you don't know where to start you can start with the um, Too Cool for School it's good they have a lot of good products then I have this one here from Sawaso um, this is the Snow Wise brightening um, sheet mask that was sent to me from Sawaso and I only had the one. This one runs around $13, so it is a little bit on the pricey side. But it works. It does brighten the skin, I can tell you that. And I think if you had um, several of these, you would definitely see um, even more benefits of the brightening with continued use. But I only had the one, but with just the one-time use, I did definitely see some brightening of the skin, and I did enjoy using that. And then the last one I have is this one here from Shiseido, and it's the Benefic Advanced Mask. And I in definitely enjoyed using this. Um, it's pricey. It's a very pricey sheet mask. Um, six of these, a box of these. I got these at the um, outlet mall. This was $85. Expensive. But in my opinion, they're very worth it um, for hydration. Hydration, um, if you are super high, dehydrated and very, very dry, these are the ones that you would want to get if you can find them. I was trying to look them up earlier because, like I said, I've done this video three or four times now. But the only place I can find them online is on eBay now. Um, so I'm assuming they're discontinued unless you can find them at um, the outlet mall like I did, which I've had these for about a year now. And, um, and it's not the CCO where you get them at, it's the other cosmetic store. I don't know which what it's called, but it's the one that has the bare minerals and um, they sell NARS, Shiseido, obviously. Anyway, that's where I got, ended up finding these at. But they are super, this, this little mask right here, how I used it was the first night I used the sheet and left it on for like 30 to 45 minutes. After I took it off, I rubbed everything in. And then every night after that, I, I put this sheet back in there. I would just put my hand in there and just would squeeze some of the product off of there and then rub it onto my face as my nighttime moisturization. Probably would do that for about eight nights after that. And that's how I'd moisturize my face. And I would get a lot of moisturization after that. As a matter of fact, each time I've done this video, I have been squeezing this little thing and I have been moisturizing my hands. <laughs> So my hands are like really, really moisturized now. And matter of fact, I think I can get enough out of this cloth here, this mask, after I've taken my bath this evening, because there's a little bit left in here, some essence left in here. I don't know if you'll be able to see in there. A little bit of a creamy essence in there that I can probably uh, moisturize my legs with this tonight. I absolutely love it. I have one more left in here that I'm going to save um, for probably like the middle of January when it's like really, really cold and I'm like really, really, really dehydrated with my skin, but I really do like those. And I seen some on eBay that I might order because they were, they were at a really good price. But I'm kind of, I'm kind of leery because I'm thinking, I know they said they were authentic, but what if they're really not and they're fake and I, they're like dried out or something and I don't like them. I don't know. But anyway, that is it for my month of November 
sheet mask empties. Um, I was hoping to have more. I was planning on doing a sheet mask every single day for the month of November, but with everything else that happened with my granddaughter being sick and other family members getting sick, it, sh it just didn't happen. But anyway, I was glad to get those done. <laughs> was 13 done that was that was an accomplishment right there but anyway thank you so much for joining me i hope that you enjoyed and i will talk to you soon bye